Mats Madu. We are the children, we are the children, the children of God. Tam Kam Kam. We change our world, we have what it takes to do it smart and make it smart. Welcome to our Smart Do. Hello, children. Welcome back to this wonderful and exciting episode. This is Standard 5 Social Studies, looking at an uh, interesting topic known as Law, Peace, and Conflict Resolution. Thank you and welcome back. Okay, as we're talking here, we'd like to look at the meaning of law. What do you mean by law? What do you mean by law? What is law? Law, this is the rules. These are rules, okay? These are rules. These are rules laid out. Okay? These are rules in the country that are laid down. Okay? For people to live together peacefully. live together peacefully. Okay? If there was no law, there was no rules set down or laid down to govern a country or to govern people, what do you think could have happened? It would be hard. We could be now in a, what we call a state of lawlessness. Or there, there could be chaos in a country. If there is no rule, there is no order. If people that do wrong are not punished, what do you think? They continue doing what is wrong. If there is no rule or law set down to govern a country on people who are killing other people, what do you think? All of us could be dead. Because if there is no law to restrict people from killing, then what would have happened? All of us could be dead. I, will, uh, I hope you do remember the episode that happened in the year 2007 during an election that we had in our country, Kenya. Okay? There was a state of lawlessness of our country, in our country. A state whereby there was chaos, there was killing, there was massive murder. Okay? And whereby we would never want to go back to such a situation. Whereby we lost a lot of lives. Okay? So when there is lawlessness, there are things that are Things that are not good that will happen. Chaos, okay? Fights, killings. So, we do have rules that govern people. That is why we have peace. People living in peace, in love and in harmony with other people. Because where there is a rule of law, everybody will respect the law. So, it's very important, even in a school, even in school, there are rules that are laid down or they are set for the school to run by. So that if you break a law, there are things, there are consequences that you face. Now, as we talk about law, the opposite of law is what we call lawlessness. Okay? Something we call lawlessness. 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 Okay? This is a state where laws of our countries, the laws of our countries are not respected. Okay? So this is a state. In a country where laws are not whereby I believe you understand what happens. If the laws of a country are not respected, we have chaos and such kind of things. They will be having fights and every other kind of thing. So that is what we call lawlessness. And that is why it's very important for us to live in peace, to live in peace and in harmony. Conflict resolution, these are ways of resolving, or these are ways of solving, these are ways of solving issues or chaos in our country. Okay? So, let us look at what. Okay? You look at something here very interesting. Okay? Let us look at something very interesting. We're going to look at causes of lawlessness. What causes lawlessness? 
causes of lawlessness. Now, what causes lawlessness? What are things that brings about lawlessness in our country? What are the factors or what are the things that might cause a country to have, to seem to have no law, where there is, it seems there is lawlessness in our country? Number one, number one factor that can cause lawlessness in our country is poverty. So what do I mean by poverty? Poverty. Poverty can cause lawlessness in this way, whereby if we have so many people who are poor in a country, Poverty can lead to people stealing, okay? And this causes lawlessness. For example, if a country has too many people who are poor, okay? Who can make, who can make ends meet in a country? When you have so many people in a very poor state, living in slums, so many slums in a country, very few people, very, uh, the, 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 the standards of living of uh, majority of the people are below, uh, very low, okay? You find this can cause lawlessness in a country where people may end up stealing from one another, okay, and fighting for one another. So poverty is a cause of lawlessness. Number two, we have what we call tribalism. We have what else? Nepotism. And what we call racism. Now, this is a state of, uh, this could cause lawlessness in this form, whereby tribalism. This is favoring one's tribe. For example, uh, Iba Mabantu, Afawa Mila Makama, Baba Amalu, Warakisi, I favor people of my own tribe. Probably in terms of employment. Probably in my company. Probably, uh, give an example, I have a company here that deals with the uh, construction of roads. Okay? And in my company, I decide to employ people of only my tribe. I only decide to employ only Lus, or only Kamas, or only uh, kisses, that is tribalism. What do you think might cause? People will end up fighting because they will wonder, why are you giving people of your own tribe, okay? This has caused actually tribalism. Uh, tribalism has caused lawlessness in a way in our country because people have tended to favor people of their own tribe or all their own people, okay? So it has caused lawlessness. Now what is it? This is a favoring one's family. This is favoring people of your family. Or relatives. Now, nepotism. For example, me, I have a company. And I'm situated in a certain area. And I decided to employ only people, my relatives, my uncle, my aunts. Those are the people I've employed in my company. Okay? That's what we call nepotism. Racism is favoring people of your race. Probably, I'm an Indian. Okay? I decide to give people jobs. People who are about only of my race. Favoring people of my race. That's what we call racism. Okay? Number three that you could look at is what you call religious differences. Religious differences. What do you mean by religious differences? This is whereby we decide to argue in terms of our religion. I'm a Christian, you are a Hindu, you are a Buddhist. And in terms of uh, we respect each other's religion, we decide to our, our differences becomes an issue. For example, there was a fight in Kajiano. There had been a fight, <coughs> fight in Kajiano town, whereby the Muslims and the Christians have been fighting. Okay? Whereby this, because of the religious differences, what the Muslims and the Christian beliefs are things that are different. This has caused fights in Kajiano. Okay? Town. Leading to, uh, the, which has caused lawlessness in that town. Okay? Now, number four issue or thing that could discuss is loss of employment or lack of employment whereby the employment opportunities are very low this could cause lawlessness because if people are not able to work and earn money for themselves this will cause lawlessness people are able to fight and cause chaos in a country and number five the last one here that we have is we have uh, as we look at loss of employment, the last one we have is corruption. Corruption is a major key and factor in lawlessness. Okay? Now, we're going to look at something very quickly as we wind up. 
Suka something very quickly as well now. Kana suka something very quickly as well now. We look at importance of law. Importance of law. Importance of law. So number one, what is the importance of law? Why is it good to have law? One, we are able to respect one another. Okay. Respect one another. And everyone's property. Number two, we are going to arrest and punish your doers. Okay? So we are able to arrest and punish wrong doers. We are able to arrest and punish wrong doers. The other one is going to help and support each other. So help and support each other. So we are able to help and support each other. Help and support each other. The other one is the law is applied fairly. Law is applied fairly to all the members. Thank you and have a blessed day.